So the last two couple of days, they have been very crazy because we got clothes on at 4.5 and we got also just before two hours, I guess, GLM 4.6, which is according to the benchmarks is better than clothes on it 4.5 already. And they are beating it basically on half of the benchmarks. They just released this new model with deep thinking. And also we got Sonnet 4.5 with extended thinking enabled. So in this episode, we're gonna run three tests and we are going to see what is the best coding model in the world and what you should really use in your coding tasks. So let's start testing. So with the first test, we are asking Claude and GLM to create a 3D simulation with CSS, uh, JS, and HTML. I'm also asking them to create a plan first and gather all the documentation they need from the web. So let's start. Basically here, I'm not just testing the raw capabilities of those models, but I am testing the agentic capabilities and, and how can they actually deal with the real world problems. So I'm judging those models based on what can they really achieve. Uh, so here I see very, very, very good planning uh, capabilities from GLM. When I see model create diagram like this and create a full architecture be Caleb in this scale, I know that I'm going to get the best result possible from this model. This create even the timeline for this simulation. So this is going insanely deep from my simple prompt. So actually here the HTML code is empty. Uh, I will ask him to generate the full code from this plan. So I don't know why he didn't start generating HTML code, but I guess it's but it's not a big a big deal for me. But I really like these planning skills of this model because even if you don't trust those models to build something from the ground up, you can create plans with them and you can get very big ideas and actually break them down. And those tools, uh, I wish I can have the hardware to run this model locally because I will make this my assistant, my beta assistant for everything I do. This is super helpful model. Um, it's very capable. In the same hand, uh, Claude uh, finished the code. So let's uh, test it. The plan of Claude looks solid, actually. So this is the cloud simulation. I see three floating buildings here. Generate new city. So yeah, we have randomized seed generation here. Hello, very night and tail animation. And this is very simple simulation. I don't see anything special about this. There is no actual roads. There is no actual populations. Uh, we, we, we don't see any data here, just a void with some buildings. There is no real wheel here. So let's see GLM uh, generation. So with GLM generation, we can increase these, the city size and we can have the building density. So this will make the buildings more closer to each other. And we, we I see some roads here. Yeah, at least in this generation, I see some roads. I see, so actually both models are close to each other, but I prefer the GLM uh, generation because it's actually more closer to a simulation than Cloud. The buildings of Cloud are better in the design, but this is doesn't look so much like a simulation. So I will ask both models, uh, GLM, to improve the simulation. And uh, but I cannot ask Claude because they limit me with five limit. I want so this is the dead uh, side of Claude. It's so limited and you cannot use it freely. GLM 4.6 is completely free, and this is what I like about it. So I'm asking GL GLM 4.6 here to add roads, uh, population, and life basically to this city and add more charts that give more analysis data about this city. So here the un the enhanced version of uh, this city simulation. Unfortunately, we don't see anything. So the second test, we will ask uh, each model side by side to generate a Python's make gain. But this is but there is a special requirement. We need different Apple colors, and uh, each. Uh, Apple gave us special identities and also with you can customize your snake. 
as well as the game should have menu and should have scoring system. So I will give this prompt to Jelan first, and I will give it as well to Plod Sonnet 4.5. So for me here, a big fail for Plod because I asked it for a Python game and he started with React. So this is a massive downgrade on the, the performance of this model. And there is no prompt following whatsoever. This is so, so, so dangerous to see. Imagine you are working on a massive project and suddenly the model start to generate other code that you don't even need. So he actually generated a game, but he didn't follow the prompt I wanted in Python, not in React. And there is a lot of lie. Yeah, basically he didn't even follow the abilities. The apples just give different amount of points. There is no special identity for each apple. So this is a fail for me because the mobile didn't follow any of the instructions I give it to him. Let's try GLM 4.5. So when I run this code, we got some issues here. And he actually gave a working solution, but the customization and the, uh, the, the only difficulty work in this menu. The begin is basically following my front. Each apple color has certain ability, meet my requirement that I asked for, which is very fascinating to see. At least it's better than Claude, which I ask a Python code and he just generate React code which is not ideal in Asian frameworks. Uh, the model need to have a very precise prompt following, but we don't see here with Claude sign up 4.5. I don't know, maybe they missed up while training it. So yeah, I will give Claude on it 4.5 a failed here. For the next test, I will ask each model to generate a 3B solar assistant simulation. I'm not going to specify any programming language here. I'm just going to give the model the free will to generate anything he want but I destroy a planet with rockets. I want it to explode and they want to see the animation. So here the cloud finished the simulation. He said, click on any of those planets to launch a rocket, but I'm clicking on, there is nothing happening. So yeah, this is a fail basically. I asked for 3D solar system and this is 2D. So yeah, there is no prompt following here. So here I'm 4.5 generate something very unique, but the actual menu settings are covering the view so yeah i asked glm here to get rid of this menu that cover everything and give me the ability to zoom in and out and yeah i will give cloud also a, another chance because this is not fair to give only glm chances so here is it i'll just finish it G generation and it's look absolutely amazing now i can zoom out and in i and i can target planets Let's start it up. Yeah, Jupiter destroyed. Uh, this is a very cool animation, actually. Yeah, that's destroyed Earth. Yeah, Earth <laughs> destroyed. So this is, oh, we cannot destroy the sun. So now I'm going to check the cloud code. So yeah, here I failed to load the resources and the code itself actually not working. So yeah, he fell to generate this, this solar destroyer. So I don't know what's going on here with Cloud Science 4.5. This is supposed to be the most capable coding model in the world, but I see it actually absolutely terrible. And GLM 4.6 is killing it. It's absolutely overkill for all the prompt I give it to him. And when I ask for enhancement, I will even get better result. So yeah, GLM 4.6 succeeded in those three tests. And actually, unfortunately, I hope to see better model from Claude in the future. And with that being said, we, we reached the end of our episode. Leave your opinion in the comment and leave us a like and subscribe. I will appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching and see you next episode.